is it me or is it the internet? It's, it's a question that is very difficult sometimes to determine. What is affecting the speed of my connection to the internet? Is it my local Wi-Fi network or is it something that's happening out there in the great interwebs? A challenge to be sure, but there are some things we can do and a lot of things that are beyond our control when it comes to our internet speed. Today, let's take a look at six things that you can do for free. They won't cost you a dime to speed up or at least to maximize your internet connection, your Wi-Fi connection. That's today on Dotto Tech. <music> Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? And today, as promised, I'm going to share with you several ideas that will help speed up your internet, or at least identify if you have problems within your home Wi-Fi network. So let's dive into things and get right to it. Now, the first thing we want to do before we even begin tuning up our internet connection is let's do a test to give us a baseline to see if we are going to improve. Now, there are two tests that I would like you to do if possible. The first is a hardwired test with a computer that's hardwired into the internet. That's going to give you the fastest speed possible uh, for your network and your connection. Then I want you to do another test with one of your computers or your phone that's connected to Wi-Fi and look at the difference between those two. That's going to tell us our potential internet connection speed and our the real speed, the real world speed that we're getting on Wi-Fi. And if you're really into it, you can test the Wi-Fi in multiple locations in your home to see where the dead spots and slow spots are. But that's really that's really getting committed to the process. Once we've done that, we can start to break down and look at the things we can do to improve our speed. And the first thing that we can do is deal with the physical location of our assets. Specifically, where is our router located, our Wi-Fi router? Is it in the center of the home? And is it in a area that is kind of unencumbered? If you've got your Wi-Fi router in the corner of the house in a closet that has wires and shelves and plumbing all around it, it's going to dramatically affect the performance. Whereas if you have it somewhere in the middle of your home or the environment that you want to use it in, and it's in a fairly open space, it's going to be able to perform as well as possible. The other thing you can do is check your router and see if it has antennas on it. Those antennas are going to broadcast the signal directly kind of out of the flat spot of the antenna. So if you have a Wi-Fi router that has antennas, arrange your antennas in such a way that they are covering the maximum area and especially the areas that you want your internet connection to be good in. The best single thing you can do to speed up your internet connection though is hardwiring into the internet. If you hardwired in to test, that's gonna be your fastest connection. And if you have mission critical things that you're going to be doing, say you're doing live streams, you wanna use that hardwired connection because it is going to perform better than any Wi-Fi network can. Number two, as far as our hardware goes, is let's update the firmware. Now I'm not gonna go into details on how you do it for each router because each router is a little bit different, but let's make sure that our firmware is up to date on our router and on our internet access point. And I'm gonna share a link in the description below to a help document that will walk you through the process because each, uh, obviously each piece of hardware is a little bit different, but that will be a good starting point. So update the firmware. Next is to check for bandwidth vampires things in background activities that are running that are using up your precious internet connection. And those are things like background processes on our computer. If you use a file sharing service like a Dropbox, it's constantly pulling the internet and looking online in order to, in order to make sure that the files are up to date. Similarly, maybe you have an online backup system you can determine that by opening the activity monitor or resource monitor in your Windows machine and go in and take a look at the network settings and take a look here at the network settings, which will tell you which applications are using resources online, polling the internet, and how much data is being transferred on those background activities. Now, probably you're not gonna find that this is too big a problem, but if you see one app or one utility that is using a lot of bandwidth, then you can make a decision whether or not that service is worthwhile. 
And while we're on the topic of background activities accessing the internet, it's a great idea to run a virus scan. Of course, if you have a virus on your computer, you have a bigger problem than a slow internet connection, but they might be one of the issues that's exacerbating your online problem. Plus, discovering whether or not you have a virus is just a good thing. Deal with it. And overall, your computer's healthier, your privacy is protected, and your bandwidth may improve online as well. The next thing to do is to see exactly how many different devices are using your internet connection. And this may end up shocking you. We have so many now connected devices in our home. Just, just think about it for a moment. Every one of your cable boxes is a streaming service uh, that's attached, that's using bandwidth. Uh, your smart speakers, and every phone in the house, every tablet, every computer. If you've got smart scales, or if you've got security devices like cameras that monitor security cameras, or your smart doorbells, they all access the your bandwidth and are using up your bandwidth. Now, you can check and see exactly how many devices are connected by going to your router's control panel and seeing exactly what's connected and recognize that there may be things connected that you don't even know are connected and you aren't using. And in that case, remove them from the network. You can also start a regular maintenance routine to improve your Wi-Fi performance. And by a maintenance routine, I'm not talking about a big project. It's as simple as on a regular basis, every week, 10 days, two weeks, restarting in this order, your access point, your router, and your computer reconnecting everything and freshening up all of your connections. You will notice an improvement if you do that because all of the all of the background information that's being shared back and forth and kind of the clutter that is assembled in all of those connections is cleared away. There you can also regularly clear your browser cache which will uh, refresh your browser's connection to the internet and any old cache items that are still connecting and talking to other websites that will cease and of course you will get more bandwidth and more performance as a result and the final tip that i'm going to give you is recycling an existing piece of hardware to extend the reach of your internet we all have dead spots in our home or we want to have internet to the garage. And so adding a repeater or building a mesh network is a very appealing prospect because that basically extends the range. But those cost money. And the, this video was all about doing it for free. You can take an older Wi-Fi router and you can turn it into an extender so that it can cover the dead areas in your home or extend it out into your yard to say your garage. I'm going to share a link in the description that walks you through that process. And while we're on that, let me explain to you quickly the difference between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz service, which most of us now have in our routers. The We would think that 5 gigahertz has to be better than 2.4 gigahertz because it's a higher number, so it must be faster. In fact, 5 gigahertz is a faster service, but it has a shorter range. So if you do have computers or phones that you're accessing the internet a little bit farther away from your router, the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth might perform better. And you can test that just by doing a speed test using your different uh, the different bandwidths. Once you've done all of these things, you are ready to do another speed test and see if you have indeed improved the performance of your internet connection. And at that point there, you can take a look at the speed that you're getting and look at your bill from your internet service provider and take a look and see if you are actually getting the performance in the service that you're paying for. And if you are not, and I suspect many of you will be in the situation that you are not getting the service you're paying for, then you can reach out to your ISP. Tell them you've done everything to make your system as spanky as possible and ask them what they can do to provide the service that you're paying for. They may upgrade some of your equipment. They may send out a technician. They have the ability to improve your connection for you, especially if you're paying for a higher speed than you're getting. Notes and links for everything we talked about today are in the description, so check that out. If you have suggestions that I didn't cover here, I would look forward to you sharing those with us in the comments. I read each and every one and appreciate your feedback. I hope you found today's video to be useful. And before we go, I just want to let you know that we do a weekly tutorial webinar here at Dotto Tech called Webinar Wednesday. They are free, they're fantastic. If you enjoy the sort of content that we deliver, join us for Webinar Wednesday. I think you will find it valuable. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.